<laughs> Happy Tuesday. Um, so here I am live as scheduled and it's so it's so uh, good that it kind of coincides with all my ultrasound appointments have all been on Tuesdays too so I always have news right now on Tuesdays which is great. Um, one thing that I will say is yeah I don't know I won't keep you guys in suspense so today we this morning we had the ultrasound to kind of show if there's a heartbeat I'm seven weeks in one day and I, I was so nervous I've got to say um, last night if you guys didn't see it but last night I saw that documentary Vegas baby and it's a documentary kind of following a couple of people going through um, trying to have a baby and trying to conceive and it's great so if you haven't seen it definitely see it and especially for those people that have never gone through infertility um, it's just really uh, an eye-opening view of what really goes on behind it and you'll really get a good sense of it um, more so than just even like listening to people's stories or going on live it's a documentary so you'll see it and it's all about kind of educating people and showing people firsthand what goes on behind the scenes so yes okay Matt I won't keep anyone in suspense but I haven't said anything yet so I was I was just preference preferencing that because I saw this movie last night and in the movie there, there are a number of heartbreaking scenes where this exact time happens when they go in and they are checking for the heartbeat and more than once in the movie um, the heartbeat isn't there and I was I was sitting there I went there by myself and I was sitting there and I was like this is not my heart was just pounding and I was like it's probably not the best movie to be watching the day before I have to go in to check for the heartbeat um, but anyway that's why I kind of mentioned the movie before doing this so but that said, this morning I was extra nervous because of that. And without further ado, Matt and I went this morning and we sat there and I actually took video. So let me let me just skip to the good part. I'm actually gonna put this on um, my site and then I'll put the, put the whole video on here. Because I find the video is pretty informative. I wish I had done this the first time around. Okay, you guys ready? Okay. Let's see. I fast forwarded. So this is my ultrasound. Can you hear that? Very nice. So regular, okay. Every beat is hard beat. So between two beats, 150 HR is heart rate. 150 BPM is beats per minute. 120 to 160 at seven weeks is good. So 150 is right within that range. I'll give you a hard copy of the picture as well. So now, okay. To so I won't play the whole video for you, but I don't know if you heard it. But we had a heartbeat. Ugh. Um. I was so relieved. And so far, so I graduated technically from the, the fertility clinic and I graduated and now I can go to my normal OBGYN and start the process as if I had not had gone through this. Um, Karen, I am now seven weeks in one day. So it's still very early. Um, but this is a big hurdle that, you know, we kind of went through. The progesterone shots um, can actually stop tonight, although <laughs> I was hesitant because I did more research on progesterone, but I spoke to the doctor and he said, really, I don't need any more progesterone shots. I could continue taking it um, until I see my normal OBGYN if I just, for my own like psych psychological reasons um, he said but physically I don't need the progesterone shots anymore and I did ask for those um, that may have gone through it why some people 
go on progesterone shots for up to almost 12 weeks into the pregnancy. And he said that's mainly due if you had a frozen transfer, um, you need it more so than if you had a fresh transfer. So that was that was news to me today. So I thought that was an interesting snippet to know. I haven't decided. I think I might take a progesterone shot tonight just for good measure. Um, but yeah, according to him, I don't need to take those shots anymore. So not only did I graduate, but maybe my shots are over, which is amazing because I've been taking shots for I don't even know how long now, maybe two months. Also, I get to exercise again, which has, has also been like two months of not exercising. And those who uh, know me, I've been going crazy. Um, so I actually did yoga today just because I can, which I'm excited to get back into the routine on, of that. Um, but yeah, I was just looking at, I have visuals, of course, more. It's crazy. So the whole doc, like, I, people joke that, you know, I take photo, way too many photos of Tegan and everything. But this kid inside me already has a lot of um, photos going on, too. Um, Karen asks, how's my mood with all the hormones? Well, it's actually, I mean, most of the hormones are done now. Most of the big part was during the beginning before the egg retrieval. And I think my mood was okay. I would get a little bit anxious, but I don't know. Maybe you should talk to Matt about my mood <laughs> for honest feedback. Um, I felt okay. I know a lot of people get very agitated and different reactions to it um but yeah I didn't I, I felt like I, I didn't really get that affected by the hormones but yeah ask Matt maybe he'll see something different um but yeah I was just looking like this kid has so many pictures so that's that's what it looked like you know with a transfer at the three-day transfer and then that was the first ultrasound so that's a little sack and then the second ultrasound is this guy, where we see the yolk. And then today, there he is. Or she, I should say, I don't know. Um, so this little guy here, that's actually the fetus. And that's measuring at 11.1 millimeters. And yeah, he's, she or he is the right size now. And the estimated due date is February 11th, so it's going to be a winter baby. Um, yeah, I don't know. So now we just go on to my, we already made the appointment with my normal OBGYN for next week. And yeah, I'm hoping good things. It's a big hurdle. I mean, of course, there's the other tests that have to happen. And I get more tests because I'm older. I think over... Once you hit over 35, um, you need more tests, and they they do more blood blood work. And there's also that choice of I forget. I guess I'll go more into it when I remember. But there's a there's a there's a test that you can take um, that will kind of test for genetic disorders if you choose to do it. For Tegan, I remember we did not because there was a small chance of miscarriage. If you did it, and at that point with Tegan, we had waited so long, over five plus years, like six years at that time. And I'm like, I am not risking anything, for, um, even for, you know, this test. So Karen asked me if I'm over 35. That's very sweet. I am well over 35. I am, how sad I have to think about it. I am 37, right? And 37 going on 38. I'll be I'll be 38 in July. I don't know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong because my brain's just not working with my age. I stopped counting age after 30 probably. <laughs> but yes, I definitely know I am over 35. I think I am going to be 38 in July. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Whew, deep breaths. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to mention tonight while I have you guys on is I am making progress on the resource that I was talking about I'm developing to, to help women that are going through this and trying to conceive and giving them um, a support. And one part of it that I'm working on that I wanted to ask your help in is there's going to be a personal side to it where 
I want to kind of curate and um, have other people's stories up there so someone can go on and kind of read other people's stories and experiences and it could be completely anonymous um, so it, I wanted to s reach out and say if you have a story that you would like to share um, personal PM me and you know I'd, I'd love to hear your story and it could be completely anonymous it, I'll put it up but I, w I think um, a collection of stories from real women that have gone through you know their own their own journeys can really help others I mean I've gotten so many people contact me contacting me saying by me telling me by me telling my story and kind of also documenting this it's helped them a lot so imagine um, you can also help people too so if you want to tell your story um, let me know and I'd love to work with you and help other people out there so I think that's it for tonight I don't know if you have any other questions let me know I will be putting up the, f the full video of the ultrasound um, online very shortly I find it very interesting. I wish I had videoed all the ultrasounds before. Um, and my doctor is very good about explaining everything. Um, there's actually there's a teaching, or he was teaching today anyway, because there was a resident, and so it was perfect. But um, yeah, thank you, Karen. I would really appreciate that. So yeah, I think that's it. Is there anything else? No? I'm like, I should end with the heartbeat. now. I put the video away. But just know this is the little old baby. It's crazy. It's crazy how this works. The human body is amazing. <laughs> um, so that's it, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a good rest of the week. Have a good July 4th. And until next time, bye.